Oh my, certainly took my request to heart. Mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? Learn anything else about Albert? Well, almost none of the mages have heard of him. An amateur, I guess. So why the interest? Temple guards first, then hunters? Uh, he's easy prey. And that's exactly why we should help him. Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. Uh, damn, doublets chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. All's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Now, uh, one more thing. Uh, leave your swords here, please. Must be some mistake. You know why we're here, don't you? Of course. But I've orders to make certain every guest enters the estate unarmed. Damn it. A pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. How could he? With that scrawny harlot! Oh, Beg your pardon? Beg your pardon? Hello. After all, he's not the only one. No use pretending you don't know. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Is that it? You asked for it. We weren't supposed to draw any attention. What? Nothing happened. On a clear day, you can see Nilfgaard's banners from the city walls. I'm in Go no away. mood. Mark my words, I'll kick him out. Yet another night with that poor. Late for supper again. Looking for me, sir? Hey. Hey. I've heard ballads about what, you. What, what is it? And that saucer. <laughs> ah, now she is a beauty. Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Marigold, well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead? Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Didn't like that guy. Why'd you insist on talking to him? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later.
Uh, Gregor, have you seen Durgoff? Just a moment ago. Oh, apologies. I mistook you for my friend. Sir. He wears a similar mask. General Voris. Geralt of Rivia. So, oh, I was not entirely mistaken. Pleasure, as always. This is... A beautiful and mysterious lady. Let us leave the formalities to the event's end, when all will remove their masks. More fun that way, wouldn't you agree? I would, sir. And now I must beg your pardon. I really must find Durgoth, and quickly. A lovely evening to you both. Geralt? So, I the pie. Pardon me. The truth is, we're all ready to pick oh, from the black. Ah, another challenger. Please join us. Sir Devonan just vacated his place at the table. It's rather unlikely he'll be back. What happened to him? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. Let's do it.
One more round? When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Your next opponent, Count Gomu Sili. In his day, his father lost the family estate in the Nimna Valley. Seems Gomu has followed in his footsteps. Yet, do not underestimate him. Desperate men can be dangerous. Let's do it. One more round? When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Sir Marius Florin. They say he never loses thanks to his Zugelbone amulet. Naturally, I could tell you more on the subject, but... Let's do it.
Excuse me a moment. Miss? Yes, it's me. The trout buyer? Hmm? Oh, yes, of course. Please excuse the precautions, but perhaps we could speak somewhere in private. Thank you for agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight, but if you trust this man... Like no one else. Any sign of the hunters recently? Since they attacked my servant at the market, none. All has been quiet. But I bribed a man of the Temple Guard. He claims there's more and more talk of Albert in the ranks. How did the Guardsmen learn about your son's interests to begin with? Oh, unfortunately, I cannot be sure Albert himself was not the source. Merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Like his father. A kind man, but a dimwit. Devoured by an Arrakis. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah. Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his hobby. A safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. Is your son ready to go? We'll have to act quickly. Yes, I've seen to everything. Where will you take him? You're better off not knowing any details. He'll be safe, I promise. But... Please, trust me. It's not the first time I've done this. I know. Thank you. How will we recognize him? He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. He seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Oh! Let's look for Albert. Oh, still so Albert Vagelbud. Do I look like a pathetic buffoon and mummy's boy to you? Well... Oh, by the gods! <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then, a colossal boom! Oh. But our hunting uh, uh, hounds are snuffing! Yes? Nice mask. <laughs> Albert Vagelbud. No. <laughs> I am a black panther. <laughs> oh my count. Your mom sent us, Mr. Panther. Oh, so you are. Yes. When can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later. A jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. I hope Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. Wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. I'm a 
Behave yourself. Do what you must, but behave. Care to sit down for a spell? Relieved to get that mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about... Yes? About that mage we met earlier? Oh, Moritz. What do you want to know? How'd you meet? <sighs> Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and... just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. Seemed just like the type. Oh, really? At the time, to me, he seemed... sweet. He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than his leader. See, but you're the one organizing the mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. They don't have anyone else. Oh, sheesh, thanks, Geralt. If you meant to say something nice, try again. Uh, you look nice. Oh, a witcher's compliments. Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No. Just some lost guest. Shh. <laughs> he must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, beag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Oh. I sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here, the better. Oh, no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely, entirely... Entirely what? Newt! <laughs> Come on, Geralt! Triss, wait! Geralt! Coming? Gerald, yes. coming? Careful. Miss Merigold, at last! So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Geralt will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. Albert! There you are, my love! 
Here you are. So, about this private showing. Under any other circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I... Albert Vagelwood. Please, step away, miss. Nobility's not towards you, Count. Try anything, and you will get bruised. Hmm, doubt it. Begin to worry. Ran into some trouble. Hunters? Will they come here? No, we've got some time. But please send someone to the garden. Needs a little tidying. I shall see to it. And you must hurry. Everything set? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. Find a good use for it. What happened at the fountain? I'm sorry, I acted irresponsibly. It was the wine. <laughs> Too strong. No need to apologize. It was nothing. Yes. Nothing. Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful.
Come on. That's it, Roach. Greetings. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Farewell. Welcome to Honeyfill. Holofurnace Meyersdorf at your service. Meet my sons, Bernie, Franklin, and Hugo. Hmm. Any relation to Rico Meyersdorf? Uh, uh, yes. My youngest son. Sadly, he fled the family business. Went to seek fortune in the big city. Why do you ask? Do you know him? <laughs> well, yeah, we've met. But that's not why I'm here. 
came about the notice you posted. It's the Apiarian Phantom. It's ravaging my hives. As far as my reward's concerned. Oh, no. That is not an amount we can spare. Hmm. Honeyfill's not been generating the revenues of old since the Phantom appeared. Would you be willing to reduce your price? Oh, as you wish. Fail to rid us of the Phantom and we'll go belly up anyway. I shall look upon your fee as an investment. So it's a deal? It is. It is. You do realize this apiarian phantom? Well, there is no such thing. It's a monster, gotta be. A wraith, maybe. Any of your workers see anything? I did. I was cleaning a hive when I heard a farmhand cry out. It screamed as though he'd been stung by a whole swarm all at once. I ran to him, but he was dead. Any stings on him? None. Did he look like he had frostbite? Blue lips, frost in his hair? And dead bees lay all around him. Farmhand who died. What did you do with the body? Wouldn't mind a look. Too late for that. We buried the poor fellow a few days back. Where'd the phantom appear? Can any of you show me? I'll go. Come with me. This Ooh. way. Follow me. Where do you get the idea it was an apiarian phantom? It's a beekeeping superstition. We mismanage the bees' offerings, the phantom appears. He destroys the hives and kills the bees so that no one can use these noble creatures for ignoble purpose. Sick to your bees on the competition, eh? No. Father recently signed a contract with the Redanians. So the phantom's from Nilfgaard. Here's where the phantom killed the farmhand. Maybe it left some tracks. Covered in frost. Cold must have killed the bees. Blood. Dried and blackened, so several days old. Must be where the farmhand died. The Imperian phantom's got where large these clues lead me. And it's pretty damn heavy. Tracks disappear in the water. Without anything's hiding in this puddle they call a lake. Need to check the other side, see if the trail goes on. destroy the hives. Can squeeze through here. Gotta find another way in. It's locked. I got the key right here. The father began building this house for Bernie. But run out to coin. It's been standing half finished since. Wonderful hiding place for whatever destroyed your hives. I'm going in. You go home and bar your door. Who knows what might come out of there. The 
giant phantom of my ass. It's a hound of the wild hunt. How the hell did it end up here? Roach will run you down. One enough, sir. I'm losing me ends. How am I to live, eh? Get a look at the thieves. What thieves? It's monsters taking me chickens. An ordinary thief I'd never on me own, but beasts? What am I to do? I can help you. Not for free. But you're advanced in years, so I won't ask too much. Poppycock. Not much, he says. But you'll take me liver come the end. Well, no one else is lining up to help me. Me end started disappearing about a week past. Always take one at a time, the vermin. One at a time? Interesting. Monsters leave any tracks? Aye. Prince of wolf paws, but strange-like. As if the wolves walked on their hind legs. And don't you be like that wise ass Yossip from Down Warren tells me I'm mistaken. But if you know beast tracks like I do, me man with the best poacher for miles around. I see. I'd still like to examine the prince myself. Wolf prince, all right. No, something's not right. next to them, but no signs of struggle. Little footprints, interesting. Captain, 
Followed the tracks of the hen-stealing monsters here. <laughs> You're a lot of fuss over a few skinny hens. The old lady didn't like them much anyway. She were always yelling at them. And she looks like a witch. Why are you in the woods? Where are your parents? Soldiers caught him. We was crossing the river, but they spotted us. We ran, but Mum and Dad had bags, told us to flee. Lived in the woods alone ever since? Sure. Find a lot of things, steal a few others. We get by just fine. Where'd the wolf prints come from? Dad once hunted down a wolf, gave each of us a paw for good luck. We tied him to our shoes. Because wolves steal hens, right? Sure. Usually not one at a time, though. You survive by stealing from others. This can't end well. We should ask someone for help. Who'd help us? Who'd take us? Once we've got all the hens, we'll go deep in the woods. Petey says we's gonna hunt where animal hides, so a tent out of leaves. I'd never grow up. <sighs> hmm. Last bits, most likely. Good luck, I guess. And watch out for yourselves. Found a group of kids in the woods. They were the ones stealing your hens. Oh, children, eh? Riding on the backs of wolves, were they? Never any wolves here. The kids are just clever. If they've anything in their knockings, they'll stay away from the hen house now. Take them in. Give them a home. Won't steal from you then. Sure, but I'll be feeding the whelps. I'll gain nothing from it. But, suppose I'll give it some thought. Apiarian Phantom was a hound of the Wild Hunt. Eternal fire! Hounds run with the Wild Hunt as well. About two weeks back, I woke suddenly in the night, saw the hunt streaking across the sky. Hound must have gotten separated then. Couldn't go back, so it hid in the empty house. It's hardly compensation for your losses, but at least the hound won't destroy any more hives. Thank you, Witcher. It's true. Nothing like hiring a specialist. Yeah. Ah, Enough for today, boys. Let's go. Let's rebuild the hives. The hounds. Oh, my God. 
Anyone there? You can come out. It's safe now. Ah, a witcher. What happened? Nilfgaardians came plundering, looking for valuables, as if we was rich. Who killed them? Couldn't have been you. Uh, I don't know. Must have been those beasts you slaughtered. This'd be the first time ghouls came to help out a village in trouble. At this rate, they'll be taking jobs off the notice boards before long. That's how it was. I dwell on it. You're hiding something. Gonna find out what it is. There's not here. Black ones didn't even find anything. Out of my way. Wasn't a fair fight. Didn't stand a chance. Jaws strong enough to crush armor. to the ground with great force, internal hemorrhaging. Scent of blood still strong. Ought to follow it. There's nothing there. Tracks lead to this house. What happened here? What do you mean, what happened? You're all still in danger, and only I can help. I'm the only one who can rid you of this threat. What do I know? Listen, you. If you don't tell me everything you know, you could all die. Understand? Is that a burden you can live with? There's tunnels beneath the village. Tunnels? Elven ruins. We scavenge them for trinkets, small treasures. Sell them to Novigrad merchants. No one expected anything bad to come of it. We dug through some rubble. Found a chamber. A beast slept inside. We felled the prop, saw the ceiling to collapse. Didn't bury the monster, though. What did the monster look like? It were dark down below. Couldn't see. So how did it kill the North Guardians? I ran. Couldn't watch it happen. Give me the key to the door. You'd go in. No. Wanna pour wax through its head and tell you your fortune. Now give me the key. So, correct me if I'm wrong. You dug through to the monster's lair, then buried the entrance, but the Nilfgaardians opened it again to look for treasure. Beast killed the Black Ones and returned to its lair. You wanted to bury the corpses, but their stench lured ghouls to the village. Now I'm here. Sound about right? Tis as you say. Yes. I'm going down there. If I'm gone long, run. Barring the door, nailing it shut resolves nothing. There are other ways out of the tunnels. Gotta be. can be lifted.
fur shreds. An Ekimara. Hibernated here till the villagers woke it. Gods, he lives. Found an Akimara hibernating underground. It was old. Must have been asleep for centuries. An Akimara? Vampire. Won't trouble you again. You cut off its head? Drive a stake through its heart? Did what I had to. Don't go down into those tunnels anymore. Akimara aren't known to be loners. We didn't hire you. Still. Seems you deserve a... You bet I do. Pay up. Farewell. you here saw your notice can anyone tell me about the monster I can the patrol has been lost somewhere along the south shore of Lake Windhammer we must know why what makes this witchers work some brickmakers live south of here they call their village byways almost empty now many have run away 
They speak of a monster which kills. Redanians do not patrol there. That would be foolish. And robbers do not attack Imperials. That would be even more foolish. This leaves one option. A monster. Bent to byways. The vampire was terrorizing the village. This is why they did not return. Ekimari are tough, even for a group of soldiers. We will bury them with honors, as heroes. Your award, well deserved. Is it true? Northern women bathe but once in Yeah? Let me see what you're offering. So long. Armed ruffians in town. Scandalous. Slap a new rice teach. You're a bigger rat right bigger than me. She'll they stop coming. How can I be of service? What are you serving today? See you later. Dysart. Are you here regarding the contract? Hmm. Wanted to hire a witcher, didn't you? I did, but not just any vagabond. One hears all manner of stories about the lunatics of the school of the cat. Which do you belong to? School of the wolf. Ah, yes. A good one. I knew a witcher of this school. Barnabas? Uh, no. Begin with a B. Never mind. Uh, uh, to the matter at hand. Not long past, I acquired an estate east of Novigrad. I got it on the cheap, you see. The seller was very keen to be rid of it. Now I've learned the building is set to be haunted. It goes to explain the seller's urgency. I do not believe in ghost. It is that simple. But my men say the house shakes at night. Walls crumble. Why, even the floors move about. Is there anything to be done? A remedy for this? 
Let's talk about my reward first. I beg your pardon? Asking for coin already, but you've not done the job. Need to make sure it's worth my time. Just look at that. Arrives in Navigratin's office head in minutes. Very well. How much do you believe this should cost me? Ha ha! That was rich! I could hire three witches for that amount. Now that you've had your jest, how much? Yes, agreed. Fine. I'm willing to investigate. How do I get there? An orchard adjoins the property. The house itself you should recognize easily. Cracks cover its walls. Is the key. And good luck. Googly eyes. Got a case of the bloat. Oh, I'm so annoyed. <laughs> Clearly left in a hurry, shaking, but a specter would have attacked me already. Scattered salt. Probably to drive ghosts away. <laughs> Pointless superstition. Air flowing through this crack. There's something in there. Wall seems a little thin. somehow.
something great. Bones. A few days more and it would have wreaked havoc all around. Ceiling would have caved in if not for this support.
Sleep, sleep, sleep. What am I to do now? Me? The war or drink? Yes? How shouldn't give you any more trouble? A little renovation and it should be fit for you to move into. Truly? Why, the estate's price just spiked sharply. What precisely was the problem? Earth Elemental trapped in the cellar. It was just trying to get out. It almost demolished the house in the effort. Hmm. Far more interesting than a ghost, that's certain. And the cellar you mentioned, is it an estate to be furnished? Hard to say. Oh, we shall see. Ah, your bounty. There you are. And uh, farewell. Big brown monsters. What do you want? Where's Horson Jr.? Oh, this one's got bollocks, don't it? I know you, you motherfucker. Saw you kill Olgard and Vic. Uh, must be a misunderstanding. Flank the bastard!
degenerate. He so much as touched Siri, he'll pay. Nailed it to the wall. What the sandwich fuck is this? No, fuck me. Help me for fuck's sake. No one's coming. for you a while now. I've come to kill you. I'll give you all I got. Got a few questions to start with. I'll, I'll tell you everything. I'm looking for a young woman and a minstrel. I know you've met them. A bird? What fucking bird? Ashen-haired with a sword on her back, just like me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that was... Uh, I, I, I remember. Pay attention now. You'll tell the truth. Wanna know why? I won't lie. Honest. Took me a long time to find you. Wasn't an easy road to travel. I'm angry and tired. Had to kill a lot of people along the way. Some of them tried to cheat me. Some tried to lie. I didn't like it one bit. I feel like one more lie'd be the last bitter drop in a chalice full of sorrow. And then... Then I'd do something I would later regret. Now you know why you can't lie to me? Yes. Good. I'd like to know how the ashen-haired woman ended up meeting you, and what happened to her. What happened to her? She attacked me! Lie one more time, and I'll cut your balls off. <laughs> We've made a deal. I was to repair their magic Filler, what's it? That girl and the songster were to bring me Siggy Ruvin's treasure. They didn't, so I might have flown off the handle a bit, I admit. What did you do? I nabbed their flunky, Dodo, and waited for them to come for him. Look, this. Here's what they wanted fixed. A phylactery? You can fix something like this? Not me. I know a guy. Wasting my time, Junior. I need details. I'll tell you, tell you all! Just the way it happened. Got a bad feeling about this. Calm down, Dandelion. Leave Doodoo in Horse and Junior's hands, you know that. I know, I know, but my gut can't be reasoned with, and no amount of sympathy I feel can silence it, blot it out. Cheer up. We can manage this, I'm certain. Famous last words right there. Have you learned where Horson is keeping Doodoo? Room on the top floor, one with the balcony. 
I'll need to cross onto the roof. Wait for me in front of Junior's house. And I know it's difficult, but do try to look inconspicuous. If they... If they hurt you, Horson will pay. I must climb onto the roof. Room on the top floor. One with the balcony. There's the balcony. Let's see what's inside. And now, my dear Dodo, I believe I'll try a different tool. Afraid I'm bored with this one. You're fucking balmy, Junior! Anyone tell you that? No. Most say I'm nice. Once they get to know me. So you enjoy good company? Like to make new acquaintances? <laughs> you plan to introduce me to someone interesting? There you are. Good of you to come. I've been waiting for you. Scurvy old. I got you. you whore. Where's Ruvid's treasure? Oh, 
That's what happened. Tell you true. Dudu, what happened to him? I don't fucking know. Brick vanished. There one moment, gone the next. What happened to the woman? Fuck if I know. One of the boys got her in the back, but she's alive, I swear it. Got anything else to say? I told you all I know. Everything. You hurt the woman I'm looking for. You tortured her friend. She attacked me. I have a right to defend myself. I beg you. Got what I deserved. Have mercy. Please. Let me tell you where things stand. I'm looking for this woman, cause she's like a daughter to me. And that's why I just can't let this go. No, no. Seems you've resolved your matters. It's time you return the favor. Radovid doesn't like to wait much, does he? No, he does not. You'll come with us. The HMS Oxenfurt Tretagor. Once the crown jewel of the Redanian fleet. Decommissioned now, though. Nice boat. You'll need to leave your weapons if I'm to let you aboard. Follow me. The ship was funded with donations from noble women. Ladies from the most prominent families gave up their jewelry. A spur of the moment patriotic impulse. You're a homeless wanderer, can't. There you are. Need something from me, Your Majesty? You've never been one to mince words. Very well. Find Philippa Eilhart. That's my wish. I ordered her eyes gouged out once. But apparently her blindness troubles her not. My hunters have detected Lady Eilhart hiding east of Oxenfurt. They have further established that she has magically sealed the entrance to her shelter. Entering it will be difficult. I believe you might succeed in doing so. Bring her to me, alive. Philippa Eilhart? What's she looking for here? I suspect she wants to find her old friends, reconvene the Lodge. Perhaps she seeks revenge on me. Lady Eilhart is known for her persistence. 
At times I recall the lessons she gave me when I was a child. Her teachings as memorable as the punishment she meted out. She was subtle and patient in her cruelty. I took her sight, but she remains dangerous. I'd advise you to be cautious. Need to think about it. Don't take too long. We wouldn't want Philippa to escape again. You may go. Never seen better steel in my life. Blade must strike true, no? It's a matter of the hand, not the steel it's holding. Pardon me. Witcher Geralt of Rivia. Yeah, what do you want? I have a message for you. Hang on. Who from? Read it. You'll know. Triss, must have been. I should find her. Your kind spreads disease. Defeatism and desertion. What's he doing here? Such lovely next Now you. Damn it! Guardsmen outside Trace's house. Not good. He liked when I cut off his first finger. The old girl very But I paid in advance the entire month. You did. I'm out of coin. But you got something else, dear. Give us a necklace and get out of here. Hands off or I'll cut him off. Geralt. You don't need to. I wanna. Grab your things and let's go. Get out! Now! When I need your help, I'll ask for it. What? Are you angry? Ugh. Angry? No. But they deserved the necklace. They risked a lot just by sheltering me. They took a risk, sure. For a hefty fee. Yes. The thing is, they could have taken the coin and turned me over to the Hunters, but they didn't, which was extremely honorable by Novigrad standards. Please don't make excuses for them. Geralt, we could debate morals or any number of other topics, but I don't have time for that now. You saw what's happening in the city.
Actually, this is the perfect time for a moral debate. We can start by setting some limits on self-sacrifice. High time you forgot about your fellow mages. Saved yourself instead. Would you abandon Vesemir? Eskel? Lambert? Leave them behind just to save your own skin? I understand you're worried about me, but I can't just pack up and leave them all. I know what awaits those who fall into the Hunter's hands. How can I help? Everything's falling apart. I don't know where to start. I should get all the mages to the docks as soon as possible. Get them on board this ship. But Berthold and Anise have yet to show up at the meeting point. Berthold and Anise, who are they? A young couple. He's an alchemist, had a practice in Gildorf. She studied at Aratusa. I'm worried the people who hit them might have turned them in. See? My hosts weren't all bad. Won't be easy getting to the port. Lots of guardsmen in the streets. So we won't take the streets. In case of trouble, we were all to meet at the Kingfisher. There's a passage into the sewers from the cellar, and apparently those can get you all the way to the docks. I know the Novigrad sewers. Won't run into any hunters there, but that doesn't mean it'll be safe. That's why I'm asking you. I need you to find the way to the docks, clear the path for the others, and do it quickly. The hunters could figure out our plan any minute. Now you understand my predicament? Mm -hmm. Help two and put all the others at risk. Or go straight to the Kingfisher, abandon the two to certain death. What do I do, Geralt? Can't risk everything, everyone, for two people. It's unwise and immoral. I was afraid you'd say that. Fine. Let's go to the Kingfisher. We'd have to take that. A patrol. We can't let them see us. Well? All right. They're gone. in sight. Everything seems in order. Or we're too late. Thanks, Thanks be to Melitile. Anyone from the Silverton hideout make it? Odette, Kaspar, Ditmer, and Yana. Hagen? He... He won't be coming. Quickly! Before someone comes in. 